Today, we're snowshoeing into my off-grid cabin. We're going to spend the weekend up here and just check on things. We don't winter up at this place, and so uh, I like to get in here at least once a month and check on the roof and check on the solar panels, make sure the snow hasn't built up too much. Um, in our area here, we get up to six feet of snow, so it can build up really quick. Uh, right now, it's middle of January and about zero degrees. We got a couple feet of snow on the ground. I'm really looking forward to the weekend and the peace and solitude that comes with, with staying up here in the winter. So come along with me today. One of the things that I love about being out here snowshoeing by myself in the winter is just the peace and the solitude that come with it. I mean, listen to that. Nothing. I can hear my heartbeat, my breath, but that's about it. If you've never had the experience to go out solo on a pair of snowshoes or cross-country skis, do it. You know, be safe, but do it because it's a completely different experience. There's a sort of, I don't know, it's hard to put into words, but there's a sort of holiness that comes with it. You don't have the distractions of the world around you. You can out, be out here and be close to God, spend some time with Him, spend some time in your thoughts with no distractions. It's also a lot of work. Good to get out and get some exercise too. Well, here's our first look at my off-grid tiny cabin in the wintertime. This is definitely my happy place. So awesome to be up here. My family and I built this a few years back. We did all the work ourselves. It's small, but it has everything that we need. I love spending time up here. Well, the first thing we'll do is clear these walks off. But then we need to get inside and get a fire built. It's cold. It's in the single digits out here today. First thing we need to do is get a fire going. It's cold in here. We need to get this place warming up. One of the things that I like to do is uh, use phone books as a uh, fire starter. They're a lot uh, easier to stack and keep together than newspaper. Take those and crumple them up. And uh, they make a great, great way of getting the fire going. And in this small stove, I create kind of a little H. I guess. Log on one side, kindling on the other, and some other kindling across zigzag to top across the top. Uh, 
I like to use these long matches because they can reach in there good and they burn for a while. Sometimes in this cold, it takes a minute to get things going, for sure. I mean, who uses a phone book anymore, right? They're still making them, though. You can actually hear it when it starts to draw. Which is the airflow that's created when the warm air goes up the chimney, sucks more air in through the bottom. Or through the front, through the, the vent on the back. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. We're starting to get some heat now. Our little fans are turning. This is one of those heat conductive fans that uh, runs off of just heat. Don't ask me how it works, but it does. And uh, it's really made a difference. This is one of the cheaper ones that you can pick up off of Amazon. And I'll leave a link down in the description. But uh, it helps balance the air in here. You put your hand in front of it and you don't feel it moving a lot of air. But it definitely has made a difference with getting heat back to the bedroom in here. And uh, really balances the heat for us. This is my tiny cabin where we're going to be spending the weekend. Got our beautiful view of the forest out through the front windows here and our wood stove is starting to warm things up. Here in the corner, we got the fold away bed that I'll probably be staying on tonight so I can feed the fire easier. Got the loft up above. That's actually the warmest place to sleep if you don't have to feed the fire <laughs> in the winter time. Uh, but behind the dining area there, there's a little bathroom. And behind that wall there, behind the ladder, is a little bedroom that is quite literally a bedroom. Um, but it's a cozy little spot that we love to spend time. My family and I built this with our own two hands. We didn't hire a single contractor to help us. And we, we love it up here and love to spend time as a family up here. Got everything that we need. If you guys would like a full tour or have any questions, leave it down in the comments and I'll put it together in a future video. Well, I had a pretty good night's sleep last night. It got well below zero outside, but it stayed nice and toasty in here once we got the cabin warmed up. I did have to get up a couple times during the night to feed the fire, but other than that, it was a nice quiet night with nothing but the sound of the fire popping. Well, it's time to get bundled back up and head back out into the cold. I got some more snow to move so we can leave this cabin in the best spot we can for the next little bit, just in case we have some more snowstorms over this winter.
but you can see the fire warmed it up enough to clear some of the snow off the roof last night cleared off our skylight there that's one of the things that woke me up in the middle of the night for sure it makes quite a racket when it's coming off of there I got all the snow cleared off the porch steps. One of the things I worry about in the winter is it piles up pretty high and if it starts melting in the spring, I don't want it coming in under the door. So that's one of the areas I like to keep cleared off. We got all the snow pulled back from the porches, cleared off the snow from the solar panels. All the batteries are topped off and looking good. Thanks to the heat of the wood stove, most of the snow's off the roof. We restocked the firewood and kindling. We're good for another month of winter up here. It's time to button things back up, pack up, and head back down the mountain. One thing you learn real quick when you're out snowshoeing or cross-country skiing is that it's about 10 times easier to walk back out than it was to come in. You've already broke trail and uh, the snow's packed down a little bit. It's a heck of a lot easier than when you came in breaking trail, trudging through the deep snow. We made it back down to the truck. It was a nice little hike out. Thanks for being out here with me today. If you'd like to join me on future adventures, please subscribe and thanks for watching.